besides painting, you've got other artistic and literary outlets, haven't you? I believe uh, you've written a novel and some short stories? Yeah, actually I've written um, two novels now, and I'm working on a third. The first novel was called Calcutta Taxi, which might ring a bell with you coming from Calcutta. It also seemed very strange since you've never actually been to Calcutta as far as I I'd <laughs> never been when I'd written the book. After I'd wrote, written it, I did go there. Oh, you have been there since. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then this, the second one was called Rough India, which is about a kidnapping, which is actually being... I'm working with a Tamil film director at this moment oh, okay. to try and turn it into a film. Someone's writing the script. Mm. And then uh, when he's finished his, la his latest film, and when is this likely to happen? Uh, <laughs> Sami, Sami, Sami. <laughs> Who knows? We don't know. But we'll see. Parklam, as they say in okay. Tamil, which means we'll see. But the other thing you do, actually, I believe, is sculptures, isn't it? I mean, I've heard of some bicycle sculptures. Yeah. Uh, what, what sort of sculptures do you... I've got quite a few sculptures in the public domain which you might term as guerrilla art. What does that mean? Guerrilla art means public art which has no permission. No permission? No, no permission from the authorities. It's almost slightly anarchic. And what I've discovered about public art is that you must keep it away from the public the public must have no access to it because if the public have access to it it won't last it won't last they destroy it yeah. and that most recent adventure that i've been doing is to do with the pig in england um and which i've had to really work hard to keep the pig away from the public and and the owner <laughs> So yeah, that's that's. That it. sounds very interesting. Yeah. And as I sometimes find things just lying around that I like, and I and I put them on a piece of paper, glue them on a piece of paper, and just keep them lying around. Sometimes I add a drawing or a leaf mm -hmm. or something I found. I believe you were asked to paint a Hindu temple in Rameshwaram. Um, it's quite a holy place, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's one of the most holy places in India. That's right. So it's a bit strange that you should have been asked to undertake this project. Well, it is strange, but strange to outsiders. But actually, at the time, it was quite quite normal because I was working in Swami Paramananda's orphanage teaching, and there was a temple in the forest nearby, and Swami just asked me whether I could decorate it, and he took me there and there was a fantastic Ganesh inside, my favourite god, a fantastic Hanuman. And I just said yes and spent the next two or three months decorating it. But it's so strange that um, you, you are... Uh, they, I but you are you a Hindu, by the way? I noticed you've got a pendant here. And you know, I asked you about whether what religion... Uh, you have whether you're a Hindu or not. That fascinates me. Why have you got that? That's interesting because it's actually not a Hindu pendant. It's actually it was given to me by an Imam in Ramasram. Now the reason he gave it to me is because I had a particularly um, unpleasant experience which shall we say was life threatening and Nagarajan's mother said we must go to the Imam. She's, she's Hindu, but she's, she believes the Muslim priests have stronger power than the Hindu priests. And when, when their children are ill, they take them to the Muslim priest. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And then I went to him. He made me close my eyes and he said a Muslim prayer. And as he did so, he flicked water on my eyes and I suddenly opened my eyes and then he said that's it you're protected now and inside he wrote a Muslim 
prayer, which I've never seen, and I wouldn't know what it meant anyway because it's an Arabic script. So I've just kept it on because you're supposed to keep it on. So how long have you had that then? Uh, two years so far. Two years. And it's protected me apart from one incident where I had to take it off. And then unfortunate things happened. We won't go into that now, otherwise we'll get involved with another story. <laughs>